All right, hey guys, I'm Polly Howard, Fox Sports Radio for the card Thursday, July 28th. Before I tell you what I'm betting, time to rant run. The Jets finally wake up, get a deal done with Fitzpatrick. One year, $12 million, $3 million in incentives as well if he, he can reach. He can make $15 million. A guy who had more passing yards than Cam Newton, more touchdowns than Phillip Rivers. The Jets were lowballing him with that $8 million a year. And when you see Bradford and Osweiler get $18 million and Cousins get almost 20. Fitzpatrick wanted fair market value. Guy won 10 games, 31 touchdowns. Come on. The other options, Geno Smith or Hackenberg or Petty. Get real. And you know what the players wanted in there as well as they were one quarter away from going to the playoffs and a 10-win team. Now, I expect them to fall back this year as their schedule was easy. Now, they got a much diff- uh, tougher schedule coming up this season. But the Jets do the right thing and get uh, Fitzpatrick back in there before they open camp. I don't know what's going on with the Rams. After, giving, uh, after extending Foles, Earlier, they uh, he asked to be released, and they cut him. So who knows where he'll wind up. That's a, how the Eagles fired Chip Kelly again. That guy won 10 games with Nick Foles, which I'll believe he can get a job now. He'll be a backup somewhere, somewhere in the NFL. Wild day yesterday in Major League Baseball. The dogs were barking. Jays, $2 got beat. All right, Dickey had nothing. Dodgers, $1.70. They got beat. They can't hit lefties. Mad Bum was two fifty. The Giants lose again. They've lost his last three starts. What is going on? One run against Straley. Orioles, they were favored. They get beat. The Rockies should have swept them on the road. And the Orioles have played 15 straight unders. Another one went under. They take on the Twins today in a makeup game. Jimenez against Gibson in that one. And uh, last check, the Twins were favored in that. Cubbies all over the uh, White Sox. Chapman comes in in the ninth inning. And Fernandez goes today. How about that? 26 and he's two dollars. Huge series against the uh, Cardinals at home in his career. 26 and one at home with a 147 ERA. Twice as many strikeouts as hits, and the and the Marlins are 32 and five in his 37 home starts. And they also get D Gordon back. Waka's been off five and seven with an ERA of 4.37. MLB's wide open. The way the Cubs are playing, the Giants are struggling, the Nationals. Cubs have to worry about Lackey who goes today, Arietta. Also, uh, Lester's been roughed up. Papelbaum with the Nationals. Giants have only had two wins since the break. American League's wide open. My God. Still don't count out the St. Louis Cardinals. All right, time to tell you what I'm betting. Here we go. Our final major, PGA Championship. Uh, get all the matchups with Brady Cannon. Went 7-1 and one with his golf matchups in the British Open. Also had Stenson to win. This guy's on fire, and nobody knows more about golf than Brady Cannon. He was on the radio show uh, Wednesday, so get his picks up there and check out the matchups with Brady Cannon. Fezzik's got his NFL win totals up. You can grab that package as well as we are nine days away from the start of the NFL season, Hall of Fame game, Packers and the Colts. The free play, as always, betting half a unit on that. Nova likes the Milwaukee Brewers. Milwaukee, the great land. Read his full write-up and analysis and get all the free picks up at pregame.com. Good card going into the weekend. PGA Championship update coming. And I'm sure someone will get busted for ganja again in the NFLs. That seems to happen every day. We'll talk to you Friday on pregame.com.